Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's video we're going to be exploring our beautiful neighbor Mars. And specifically, we're actually going to be talking about something that will happen to it in a few million years. Welcome to What The Math. So, turns out that over the next few million years, one of the moons of um, Mars, specifically the moon right here, known as Phobos, is actually going to decline in orbit, as it currently is doing. Every single uh, day, it basically gets closer and closer to Mars. And at some point, it's going to approach Mars really close. Now, some scientists thought that it's going to basically crash into Mars and very likely just kind of disappear forever, leaving only one moon, Deimos. But in reality, something more amazing will happen. And as you can probably tell from the uh, title of this video, we're going to be talking about this today. So, the year is... well, actually, we don't really know when exactly it's going to happen, but it's like 20 to 40 million years in the future. At that point, Phobos is going to get closer and closer. Um, at a point where it's going to basically be about 1.3 radii of, uh, away from Mars, it's going to still be far, far enough away from the thin ma Martian atmosphere, but it's going to be within what's known as the Roche limit. And this is where things get really interesting. If you know anything about Roche Limit, if you know uh, anything from the videos I made in the past, this is where the tidal forces of Mars become so strong that they actually are going to be pulling at the um, different regions of Phobos here with different strengths. So here and here the strength is going to be very different. This means that Phobos is going to receive a lot of tidal stress. And this means only one thing it's going to start falling apart. And when this happens, or when this actually happens around other planets, what resulted was a ring. So, Mars is actually going to be the next object in our solar system to have a ring around it. And it's going to be absolutely beautiful. So we're going to see if we can actually make this happen here in the Universe Sandbox. Let's see if we can... Uh, move it just close enough to Mars to create a ring. Now we're going to help it just a little bit and actually explode it just so that it actually turns into a, a bunch of pieces and creates um, an artificial ring for us here. So let's see if this actually happens. It's going to start falling apart. And there we go. There is that ring that is slowly going to basically spread around Mars. Now, what's really interesting is that we think that this ring will actually uh, stay in this location. Uh, okay, this is a little bit too close. It's actually going to be a little bit farther away. Let me show you what it might look like here. And here we go. So, this ring right here that I've just created is going to stay in this location for at least 20 to maybe even 40. And uh, here we go. This is the ring I was trying to create. So. What we know about this ring is that it's going to stay here for at least a million years and possibly even much, much longer. It's quite possible that it might be um, orbiting around Mars for as much as 100 million years. So for like 100 million years, Mars might actually be one of the few uh, ringed objects in our solar system and the only terrestrial planet with a ring around it, at least currently. Now we think that this may have happened to our planet Earth as well, especially after the creation of the moon, it may have had rings around it that eventually fell onto the surface of our planet. But right now, no terrestrial planet has any rings, and Mars is going to be the first. Uh, this particular object, Deimos, is going to remain as the permanent moon of uh, Mars. It's very, very small as well. It's uh, Both of these were, used to be actually um, asteroids and they were captured by Mars uh, billions of years ago. But Phobos is going to create these beautiful rings around Mars. Now, what's really interesting is that because Martian atmosphere is so thin, they will be here for a long, long time. 
If Mars had more atmosphere like our planet Earth does, they would very likely fall onto the surface relatively quick. But because of thinness of Martian atmosphere, there's nothing stopping them from orbiting around this planet for a long time and that's what they'll be doing. So this is going to be a very beautiful object sometime maybe in the next 20 to possibly 40 million years or maybe even sooner. We don't really exactly know when uh, Phobos is going to start falling apart because we don't know enough about it just yet. But we know for a fact that it will eventually turn into these beautiful rings that you see right here. And since Mercury doesn't have a moon, Venus doesn't have one either, and our moon uh, around our planet Earth is uh, a little bit too far away and is actually moving farther away from us, this means that Mars is going to be the only terrestrial planet in the next few billion years to have rings around it. Other than that, this is probably the only thing that makes Mars unique and interesting, at least for now. Maybe in the future we'll discover something else, but for now this is actually it. This is all we know about it. And this also suggests that maybe in the uh, other solar systems, there might be actually planets that have quite a dramatic amount of rings orbiting around them and may even look something like this. With multiple ring systems that may have been formed around various terrestrial planets, and may look absolutely incredible. And the way that this would be formed is if the actual objects that fell apart um, and created these rings would be made up of different materials. So this might actually be more metallic, this might be more rocky based, and this might be just ice. And this would create these very beautiful rings around those terrestrial planets. And so that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. And I wanted to show you what will happen to Mars in the next few million years. Hopefully we'll still be around to see these rings in the future and hopefully we'll be able to go there and learn more about them and possibly even use them for some kind of a scientific research. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, subscribe if you still haven't and share this video with someone who enjoys watching these videos and I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Let's explode Mars and see what happens to our beautiful ring system. Space out and as always, bye bye.